So he taught me how to do karate, and I still know how to do it. Why you take that? Stop it! So starting in, in learning the martial arts, uh, it provided a discipline. Living in a housing project, if you were going to be anything other than what the project was uh, manipulated to, to turn people into, it took a strong will and a lot of discipline. Uh, a lot of young men found that discipline in games, and, um, but more and all, those of us who didn't want to go into the illegal trades or didn't want to go into the, 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 the game mentality, uh, who did go into the martial arts, we found it provided us military strength. It gave us a, uh, a, a relationship of uh, being in the tribe, being the warriors. Uh, it gave us certain warrior skills we're going to develop as we got into the different combated uh, facts of practicing martial art. But even more and all, it gave us family. So uh, what has happened is, when you talk about martial arts, and you talk about blacks in the martial arts, is that uh, we have come together and formed families that allow us to exist off the discipline of the Asian's martial arts. And that discipline is derived for us through rigorous martial arts training. This school here, I, I feel, in our martial art adventures, we, we sort of like bring our history, our culture, you know, into to our environment of the martial arts. We, you know, our pain, our suffering as a people is all in here, you see. So that's why we try to, like the army says, be the best that you can be. We, we try to be the best of, of artists that we can be. So the arts to me is is a uh, is a is a thing of uh, upliftment. It it exhilarates me and it and it makes me it makes me become actually who I am. You know, I'm a warrior in spirit, and I'm a fighter for my people. And I could not be a fighter and a warrior for my people if I did not uh, condition train and condition myself. <laughs> Thank you. Give him a hand. So I want to leave you with a saying I want you to repeat after me. To each one. Each one. Teach one. Teach one. Each one. Each one. Teach one. Teach one. Each one. Each one. Teach one. Teach one. That's the responsibility that you have for your people to make us a better people to, to uh, enhance our future. You gotta go and teach what you know to your own. And you should give Sensei McKinney a hand because he has done well by teaching you all. The most important thing you're gonna learn about karate is what? Fear. Discipline and respect, they go hand in hand, okay? And I get more pleasure out of going to tournaments and seeing young black kids being motivated uh, to participate in the martial arts as opposed to uh, dope slinging and gun slinging. We see enough of that out in the community every day.
My style of teaching martial arts is not to make a child docile or to conform to the status quo, just the contrary. My, my style is to be able to uh, teach a child the martial arts, but also to teach that child how to think and not what to think, so that they can see the contradictions and deal with those contradictions, not from the standpoint of like our parents did, well, you don't, you don't buck the system, you buck the system. My martial arts experience uh, kind of took a dramatic twist because uh, I joined the Panther Party in 1969 of uh, January my destination and stay into the Panther Party was up until about 1977. I think the, uh, the, the reception toward the martial arts in terms of the black community was due to the fact of police brutality. I think it was, it was, it was evident that uh, black men definitely needed uh, to protect themselves and they had a right and I think along with that with uh, the Panther Party constantly promoting and suggesting that you have a constitutional right to defend yourself, you have a constitutional right to protect yourself with or without a firearm, I think was a key component. You got so my style of martial arts is that uh, no one has a right to oppress, suppress you in any form or brutalize you in any form or fashion, and especially police officers. Four, three, go. I seen this movie at the McVickers in 70, I think it was 77, if I'm not mistaken. The Soul Brothers of Kung Fu. It's Carl Scott, one of the first guys. The other guys was on the scene. He's one of the first uh, African American actors that the Chinese really liked because they said his discipline in his body, how he learned his martial arts, he can deal with the rigorous training on the sets and the rigorous training to keep doing the technique over and over again. So he's very adaptable as far as the style. Oh, so what do I do now, brother, huh? Here. 